Shalom Aleichem. Here we are in this wonderful, amazing location, the grave of the righteous women, Rachel, the wife of Rabbi Akiva, and a few other more women, but it will take me a while to find. So first of all, just for you to know, this is the grave of Rachel, the wife of Rabbi Akiva ben Yosef. She was the righteous woman that gave a great inspiration to Rabbi Akiva to believe in himself and to find a way how to start that path of tshuva, coming closer to Hashem when he was 40 years old. When he was 40 years old, he started the path of tshuva and it's written that he didn't know even how to read the Aleph Bet, the holy letters of Hebrew. He didn't know even how to read. And the wife, Rachel, she was the one who gave him the inspiration to go and learn and to dedicate his life for the Kedusha and for holiness. Now, this is the other side of the same tombstone. The story is telling us, the Gemara is telling us that Rabbi Akiva went to the when he wanted to learn Torah so he didn't know how to learn what to do and his wife told him to go and learn with their son with their child in school and he sat with first grade it's called Kita Aleph and learned the letters he was 40 years old and sat in school with the children and people and kids were mocking him, were laughing at him. So his wife, she made a certain act that taught him, that gave him the inspiration to keep on learning and to keep on finding his way in the path of holiness and purity. And what she did was that she went with their donkey to the gate, the main entrance to the city. And over there, she put earth on the back of the, of the donkey. I'm just showing you around here. There are places to light candles that are dedicated for the soul of this righteous woman and there is an amazing place to pray outside as well so she put earth on the back of the donkey and she put seeds on the back of the donkey she and she watered the the earth over there and people started to laugh at her and then in the next day she came, over there you can see barely, but that's the Galilee Sea. You can see there's a boat over there in the sea. So in the next day she came and she also put water. She watered the seeds on the back of the horse. And on the third day, people laughed at her less. And after a week or two, no one noticed. And then Rabbi Akiva realized that he just needs to continue and doing his thing over there. Even if people are laughing at him, even if people are disrespecting him, even if people cannot see in a good eye the effort that he is putting, 
trying to serve Hashem, he should continue and to be stubborn and never to give up. When Rabbi Akiva came back after 24 years that he dedicated his life to Torah, to Tefillah, he came back home. When his wife came out to see him, he said to all his 24,000 students that were with him, everything that is mine and yours all belongs to her. Only by her merit I was able to achieve the things that I achieved. And everything I taught you until today, the merit belongs to her. May her merit and the merit of all the righteous women and righteous men protect us all. Amen.